Hello everybody and welcome back to some Kerbal Space Program and some more BD Armoury fun. Now, uh, up until now in my BD Armoury videos, I've sort of been letting the AI do most of the legwork. Uh, but today that's going to change. I'm going to control the craft itself and uh, we're going to see what enemies we can dispatch. But uh, I'm not going to be going up against other, other uh, fighters uh, because, well... Dogfighting manually without any further mods is a real pain in the arse, so I've uh, I've cooked up some ground units for me to, to take on. Ground units that can fight back. What I've done is made basically made a, a, a basic chassis, uh, just put an armour box around the, the basic part of it, and then made a simple armour skirting for the wheels, and uh, to the top of those I've attached uh, various anti-aircraft goodies. You can see this one here has a uh, simple Pack 3 intercept launcher, armed with uh, 16 of the aforementioned missiles. Just let me bring that up. It has another one, it has its counterpart here, and both it and its counterpart don't have their own radar, basically because there wasn't enough room on the chassis to actually fit one. So they've both got this little radar uh, data receiver, and they are fed by this little unit here, which is just basically a radar unit. This radar unit is guarded by this little Goalkeeper cannon armed one, eh, just to sort of hopefully shoot down any missiles and any fighters that stray too close. And there's another one guarding the uh, Pack 3 launchers in much the same way. My own weapon of choice for today will be one of my Wyvern ground attack fighters, uh, which I have armed with a variety of ground targeting weapons. I have got uh, some Hellfires here, some Mavericks, a couple of Harm anti radar missiles, and just in case all else fails, some good old-fashioned bombs. So I'm going to take one of these up and see if I can get rid of all of these. Um, but first things first, I want to get kind of get a frame of reference, so I'm going to send up a couple of AI-controlled craft and see how they get on with the task. So our wyverns have taken off, they've gotten up to a decent altitude, they are just getting within range, so I think it is about time we go turn everything on here and see what happens. Let the fun and games commence. Uh, probably, yep, the harm missile, no surprises there. I think pack three launchers going, going in pretty much straight away. This one sitting idle. Not sure if he's going to wake up, but this one, yeah, getting missiles away fairly early. Meaning one of these, are they both breaking low? I think they... Did that one launch two? I can only see one of them. Hmm. Anyway, I think they're probably both going to manage to dodge. Um, in my experience, the Pack 3 missiles, they seem to have a fearsome reputation, but generally I find them easier to dodge than the Amrams. That one just flying harmlessly through. Yup. And so we are nine and a half kilometers away. Looks like he's going to fire one of the harm missiles. I suspect the uh, the um, the radar unit. The unit's only got a radar on it because, uh, of course, the goalkeeper cannons have radars on them as well. But this one, I think, is the sort of the target of that initial barrage. There's one of them coming in, I think any second now. The goalkeeper cannons should start up trying to shoot it down. Of course, that's something that's been quite heavily nerfed. Um, in recent recent versions of BD Armory is the ability of sort of guns to shoot down missiles. It used to be you had to launch two or three just to make sure, but uh, now, yeah, it's, it's very rare that a gun hits it. Where is this coming in for? coming in here. No, it's going for the... It's went for the goalkeeper cannon. I think they're both up. I think they're both alive. I think, yeah, they're both firing. Wyvern still both intact. Yeah, this guy getting a little close for comfort. That's not really good news with those uh, goalkeepers. That looks to be one of the pack three launchers. Pretty much dead, I think, unless he's just fired a missile. There goes another missile in, one of the Pack 3 missiles coming in, gonna get very close here. No, I think he's managed to dodge them okay. Yeah, that's... yeah, one of those missile launches is no longer showing. 
this guy bruised but still in the fight and now is laying guns I assume on that wyvern that's gone a bit too close yeah he's 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 ripe for shredding there there goes in another missile I don't know what the point of that was he's already dead there here comes one in for that goalkeeper cannon I think nope oh I don't know what that was might have been but what has happened there I think one of the wyverns has been shredded by a pack three missile it must have been well that's a turn up for the books this guy has also been partially cooked this is not looking good for the wyverns so yeah that wyvern crashes to the ground that radar's operational this guy yep he's still got his gun he's still got ammo this guy is still tracking that wyvern another piece of debris just comes in and thuds there goes another missile it's not looking good this this goalkeeper tank is completely unscathed has he got any he's out of missiles so that means all he can do now is strafing runs and I don't think those are gonna go that well getting very close to those goalkeeper cannons that he can't avoid them take some damage just being scorched by those cannons those goalkeeper miniguns it's got to be all over now surely coming in for another attack run coming in for another strafing run this it's got to be now hasn't it those goalkeepers just both firing both trying to light him up I don't think there's much that Wyvern can do he puts in some Poultry, oh, and there he goes, he's shredded. I was say, puts in some poultry gunfire onto the defences, but... Yeah, there was only one way that was going to end. Oh, and, uh... Insult to injury. And they're still firing. I think this is time to... Get Jebediah... Oh, it was Jeb! Let's deploy his shoot. Yeah, so that's quite a convincing victory for the ground defences, and it looks like I am going to have my work cut out tackling it with one aircraft. So, here I am on the runway with my lone wyvern. Now, if I was to run this the way I did uh, with the previous fight, I think I'd actually have a better chance than the AI, because I could be a bit more disciplined, I could stay at a distance and just lob missiles in from there. So... Just to increase the challenge, I'm going to add a couple of rules for myself. The first one is I have to close to at least 7 kilometers before firing off any missiles. The uh, well, the second one is that I'm going to start each run with the, with the teams set up like this, and before I'm allowed to do anything else, I have to press this button to switch the teams of the Wyvern. Now, once this has happened, I'll have to be quick off the mark. Because otherwise that'll happen. Let's see how this one goes. Okay, here goes nothing. Ready. Afterburners would probably be a good thing here. Well, we're off to an excellent start, aren't we? Okay, so quick revision to the rules. I'm allowed to turn on afterburners first, like so. Let's see how this one goes. Ready? So far, so good. Doing better than the previous run. Take off. Hopefully, I'll be out of the range of those guns in no time at all. Um.
Okay, so I think once I've taken off, I need to do some evasive manoeuvres. Let's get the afterburners on first. Get ready, and... Yep, there we go. About as perfectly as I think I could do that. Or maybe not. Right, once again. Let's hope we get a bit further this time. Going quite well. Gonna start trying to sort of just up and down. Try and shake the cannon fire. Losing bits, still got enough. Still got enough to fly. Okay, we are good. We are still flying. We are missing most of our weaponry though. Do we keep flying or do we do we want to go again and see if we can um Well that answers that one. Okay, new plan. Uh, we are going to try and get to somewhere just around about here, and then we are going to try turning sharply, coming around the back of the buildings, the space balloon hangar, and the VAB, and see if we can get some sort of uh, sort of line of sight advantage over those craft on the ground. So here goes. Oh crap. We got the afterburners. I hope that doesn't cost me. Yeah, it cost me. So I just did another run just to find out that OBS wasn't recording, um, but don't worry, I didn't get very far. Let's try this again. Afterburners on. Right. Let's see, I'm going to pull up, take off fairly quickly and... Or maybe not. Don't take it out on the VAB. Right, here we go again. Damn it, forgot the afterburners again. Let's take off, keep low, do a few manoeuvres. Oh, getting a bit too low there. Now turn and get behind those buildings. I think we've done it. Oh, crap. Maybe not. Get low, get low, get low, get low, get low. Okay. Success. Oh, maybe not. Ah. Uh, right, I think we are out of range of those guns. How far are we away? Getting out to about six kilometers. Right. Time for some revenge. Harm missiles, modules, where's my way to radar warning receiver? What 
are you doing? Oh, and there comes in the first... Oh, Christ, that was close. I didn't notice that one. Just tap the countermeasures. Here comes another one. There we go. Okay, those harm missiles have hit. I accidentally released a bomb there. I'm not sure if I didn't realise I released both my harm missiles or what had happened. Here comes another pack three. I haven't got a missile lock warning. I think it was fired without one. Right, so we need to bring this up. Getting very squirrely at the moment. Let's, uh, let's take off those afterburners for a second. I'm just going to sort out my targeting ball and then I will get right back to you. Right, so I've sorted that out. I've got myself turned around. Our first order of business is to target that little radar unit because without that the Pack 3 launchers are useless. So I have selected some Hellfires and we're going to go and see if we can make some mints of that. Trigger is armed. We are about five and a half kilometers out. I think now, now's a good time. Four, just to make sure. Almost rhymes. I have a missile lock, I have a missile incoming. Start to pop, pop those countermeasures. Pop those countermeasures? Turn hard. I think I could probably do with afterburners back on. I pressed the wrong button. It's all good. And that tank radar disappears. Those pack 3 launchers are useless. Um, that one obviously didn't have a lock. So, it's time to turn to my old friends. The, uh... Those little goalkeeper cannons who've provided me so much fun and entertainment over the past hour of recording. Being very squirrely here. Go for some Mavericks. Right then, Mr. Minigun, stick this in your pipe and smoke it. we go and I'm not sure if the other one is out of commission so I am just going to deliver him a little birthday present as well. Where are you? He's, he's in bits. Is that him? Oh, I changed. I changed targets. Oh, I forgot you have to keep the targeting ball on the... Oh, damn it all. Well, no harm done. Ah, oh. Let's go around and try again. So, same thing. Again. Right, so take two. Yeah, these aren't just fire and forget like um, the radar guided missiles are. Yeah, although I think I did finish off that other uh, that other uh, goalkeeper cannon, fortunately. Let's see how this guy does.
And that is all the defenders neutralised, finally at long last. Oh. But uh, I don't think I'm finished here. Now, I wouldn't say I was a petty man, but um, after everything I've just been through, uh, yeah. Anyway, thanks for watching everybody, take care, and I'll see you next time.